Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time again. I have uh, acquired a new handgun and I wanted to share it with you guys. You can already tell that it is a Dan Wesson. Um, this is a uh, RZ45 Heritage 45 ACP in stainless steel. Now this is one fine piece of machinery and I know I say that about most of the guns I have but honestly this is one of the finest pretty neat piece there um, the fit and the finish on this handgun is as fine as any you'll pay twice to three times the price for uh, but trust me when I tell you that uh, the fit and the finish is second to none uh, this handgun right here, all the refinements that have been done to it uh, straight from the factory are in my opinion just as good as any of them. Tritium night sight on the front and just a regular blacked out dovetail Novak style sight on the back and hopefully the uh, camera will do it justice if you look at the finish on that trigger or on the hammer sorry and the fit and the finish of that slide to the frame. Now you can see it's dirty, it's got grease on it, I haven't cleaned it. But I want you to look at that precision milling millwork. This is full stainless slide and frame. Hogue rubber grips. I'll be putting some VZs on there. Um, trigger is uh, not skeletonized, although the hammer is. All the edges have been broken lowered flare ejection port and you can see right there it is a match grade barrel and the trigger right out of the box if it's four pounds I'll be amazed but you can look at the finish on some of these parts no mem parts in this gun no MIM parts two eight round stainless steel magazines with the Dan Wesson logo made by Checkmate made in the USA nice heavy duty butt plate on them you get two of these with the pistol and they should be just fine anti-tilt followers of course smooth no sharp edges anywhere everything's been broken and rounded everything is flush nothing sticks up smooth rounded just an absolute beautiful gun man what a nice trigger and I hope to get it to the range tomorrow and give you a look at that Dan Wesson Firearms Norwich New York USA of course you all know that uh, CZ does the distri distribution all stainless steel pins stainless steel mag release just a beautiful gun. Comes with this nice uh, what they call a signature case. Spent casing, lock, paperwork, of course. Just uh, an absolute beauty. An absolute beauty. This gun retails for about $1,300. And uh, I got a considerably better price on it than that. But it's just fantastic. And I just wanted to share it with you. Hopefully, um, like I said, we'll get her to the range tomorrow. And uh, we'll have some shooting footage at the end of this video.
All right, guys. I just um, got done breaking this gun down after unboxing it to clean it all up. Got all the grease out of it and stuff, and uh, I just couldn't help but uh, come back with the video again and show you guys some of the quality put into the parts in this particular gun. Um, I'll start with the barrel. I mean, it, uh, we, we know it's a match grade barrel, okay, but that's not the deal. Uh, the machining on this barrel, um, the marks that you see here are from test firing it. But man, I don't know if you can hear that. But this is one highly polished, throated barrel. I hope the camera's picking that up. And as you can see down through there, I want you to look at the quality of that barrel. And that's no oil. I have not oiled this yet. I was getting ready to begin the process of reassembly and lubrication, but I just couldn't help but show you guys that. Um, the barrel link, there's no movement side to side in the barrel link, really. I mean, it's just unbelievable quality of some of these parts. Hell, even the uh, even the recoil spring guide finely machined. Look at the finish on this stuff. And I, I can't help but show you the uh, sear and the hammer up close. I mean it's hard to get it's hard to get into this stuff. Look at that, man. I'm going to finish on that stuff. And I'm not bagging on any other gun, you know, or nothing, but... Man, dang. That's some pretty fine-looking stuff, if you ask me. I don't know what, you guys, what do you guys think? Give me some comments. Let me know what you think about that.